In the vast expanse of human history, biblical narratives often provide intriguing insights. They serve as a rich tapestry, woven with tales of human origins and a myriad of races and cultures. And amongst these stories, there is one that stands out for its profound implications on our understanding of racial diversity. This is the story of Noah and his three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. According to the Bible, after the Great Flood, Noah's sons became the progenitors of all human races. They journeyed forth, populating the earth and giving rise to the vast array of cultures and ethnicities we know today. It's a captivating tale, rich in symbolism and layered with meanings that continues to captivate scholars and theologians to this day. Shem, often associated with the Semitic people, is believed to be the ancestor of the Middle Eastern cultures. Japheth, on the other hand, is often linked with the Indo-European people and is thought to be the forefather of the European and some Asian cultures. And then there's Ham, whose lineage has been a subject of much debate and fascination. The descendants of Ham are traditionally associated with Africa, leading to theories about Ham being the progenitor of the black race. This interpretation, however, is not without its controversies and intricacies, which we'll delve into in the following scenes. So why is this narrative important? Well, it provides a framework for understanding the origins of human diversity from a biblical perspective. The story of Noah's sons is not just a tale of survival and repopulation, but also a narrative about the diversity of human races and cultures. It sheds light on how the Bible perceives the world's racial and ethnic divisions, offering a lens through which we can view and interpret the complex tapestry of human existence. The story of Noah's sons is a significant biblical narrative that offers insight into the origin of different human races. It invites us to explore the mysteries of our shared human heritage and to reflect on the profound interconnectedness of all people. One of Noah's sons, Ham, plays a crucial role in our exploration. Diving into the annals of biblical history, we encounter a story that has been subjected to various interpretations. This story revolves around Noah, his sons, and a curse that has been associated by some with the origin of black people. Ham, according to the Bible, was one of Noah's three sons. The others were Shem and Japheth. After the Great Flood, as the narrative goes, Noah planted a vineyard and one day became drunk from its wine. In his intoxicated state, he lay uncovered in his tent. Ham saw his father's nakedness and told his brothers, who respectfully covered their father without looking upon him. When Noah awoke and learned what Ham had done, he pronounced a curse. But interestingly, this curse was not directed at Ham. Instead, it fell upon Canaan, Ham's son. Noah said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be to his brothers. This verse, Genesis 9.25, has been the root of much controversy and debate. Some interpretations suggest that this curse led to the descendants of Ham, and specifically Canaan becoming black. This interpretation has been used historically to justify enslavement and racial discrimination. However, it's important to clarify that this interpretation is far from universally accepted. Many scholars argue that the Bible makes no direct link between the curse of Canaan and the origins of black people. They point out that the so-called curse of Ham is a misnomer, as the curse was actually placed on Canaan. Furthermore, the Bible does not specify that this curse resulted in a change of skin color. In addition, it's worth noting that the descendants of Canaan, according to the Bible, settled in the region known today as the Middle East, not Africa. This raises questions about the validity of associating this curse with the origin of black people. While the story of Ham and Canaan is often cited in discussions about the origin of black people, it's vital to remember that interpretations vary widely. As we delve further into this topic, let's keep an open mind, aware that the truth is often more complex than our initial assumptions might suggest. Beyond the story of Ham, we discover more about the biblical origins of black people when we delve into the tribes of Africa. As the biblical narrative unfolds, we encounter various African tribes that are often associated with black heritage. Notably among these are the Kushites, a tribe frequently mentioned in the scriptures. The Kushites are traditionally linked with the region known today as Ethiopia, 
But let's not forget the world of the Bible was vastly different from our modern day geography. The land of Kush extended far beyond the borders of contemporary Ethiopia, reaching into Sudan and possibly even further. The Kushites were not just a geographical entity, they were a people renowned for their skills, their strength, their beauty. The Bible speaks of them with a certain reverence, highlighting their prowess in battle and their wisdom. The prophet Zephaniah, for instance, prophesied about the Kushites in a positive light, a testament to their significance in the biblical narrative. But what's the connection between the Kushites and Ham? Well, according to the Bible, Cush was one of Ham's sons. This makes the Kushites direct descendants of Ham, strengthening the link between Ham's lineage and the origins of black people. Yet, the Kushites were not the only African tribe with a possible connection to Ham. The Bible also mentions the Putites, believed to be located in modern-day Libya or Somalia, and the descendants of Mizraim, who settled in Egypt. Like the Kushites, these tribes are also considered to be Ham's progeny, further substantiating the African connection in the biblical story of black people's origins. Weaving together these biblical threads, we see an intricate tapestry of African tribes, each contributing to the rich and diverse heritage of black people. The Bible, in its timeless and universal narratives, gives us glimpses into the origins of these tribes, their journeys, their struggles, and their triumphs. The African tribes in the Bible, in many interpretations, represent some of the earliest ancestors of black people. Historical narratives, intertwined with biblical narratives, offer us a broader perspective. Let's delve into this dynamic interplay. Historically, scholars have grappled with interpretations of biblical texts, often finding themselves at the crossroads of faith and archaeology. Some have drawn parallels between the biblical narrative of Ham's descendants and the historical civilizations of Africa. Others, however, caution against such literal interpretations, underlining the need for a nuanced understanding of the text. The ancient civilizations of Africa, from the Egyptians to the Ethiopians, have left indelible marks on world history. Some scholars posit that these civilizations could be part of the lineage of Ham, as suggested by certain interpretations of the Bible. Yet it is crucial to note that these civilizations were diverse and complex, much like the tapestry of human history. On the other hand, the narrative of the curse of Ham has been challenged by many historians. They contend that this interpretation was a product of a particular historical context, used to justify the subjugation of certain groups of people. This perspective underscores the importance of considering the socio-political contexts in which these interpretations were made. As we explore these narratives, it's worth emphasizing the extraordinary diversity and complexity of human origins. The story of humanity is not a simple one, neither is it confined to a single narrative. It is a mosaic composed of countless stories, experiences and migrations that have shaped the world as we know it. While we may draw insights from the Bible, it is critical to approach these narratives with an open mind. The origins of black people, and indeed all people, are not confined to a single story, but are interwoven within the rich tapestry of human history. In conclusion, the Bible, alongside historical narratives, presents us with a myriad of perspectives about the origins of black people. It is a fascinating journey, one that invites us to appreciate the complexity and diversity of human history. While the Bible provides us with intriguing narratives about the origin of black people, it's essential to approach these stories with an open mind, recognizing the richness and complexity of our shared human history.